because the clothes are so beautifully made. I decided that for me as a hairdresser, I had to throw my skills away as a, as a hairdresser and do something that was really quite raw and quite, quite wild and quite sexy and kind of a little nonchalant. Like I really don't want the girls to look like they kind of care about their hair. I want them to look cool. So we kind of blow the girls' hair out with a low semi-part. And then afterwards, we just added these really beautiful colours, like these soft golden pinks, to make them look like maybe they've been to the East Village. This look is actually really adaptable, and you can adapt the look to suit the girl, their texture of hair, the length of hair. I think that's really kind of important, that the girls feel that they look really great. Peter wanted the girl to look sophisticated, but very fresh, very playful and young. And since there are many colors on the clothes, I thought, let's keep the face colorful, but in a kind of a deep pastel color. And I think violet burgundy was the best. Sexy. Sexy with a flavor of 60s, but a flavor. I didn't want to go retro. He opened the show with that rose print, super, super pretty. And you know what I love with Peter too is he's got a he's got a sporty edge to what he does. It's almost like straight girl, straight uptown girl, but it's never that. It's always mixed back. Like if he does a cute khaki trench, he's got a great little hoodie on the back with a bit of a drawstring, or he's got he's got almost a bit of a schoolgirl pleat. Very, very upbeat. But that's Peter. I really started off with the idea of uh, floral prints, which is one of my favorite things, but I wanted to make them really bold and graphic, and that's how the big rose print came about, and everything came from there. Well, I really love the idea of taking all my favorite things, tweeds, prints, textures, and making them very light, so I did sort of break things up like a lot of paneling on the jackets and you know I think that's the most important thing for spring just to make it feel light and fresh. Well I think some of the colors and some of the silhouettes you know came into play with the 60s feeling. It was really just more of a smaller reference but I really wanted the collection to feel very neat and clean and graphic and the 60s definitely bring that feeling to it. Well, I think every woman wants to show off her body and show off her shape, and so it was really a balance of giving structure but still keeping it feminine and light, and I think, you know, that's so important for spring. I call them shimmy dresses because they, they kind of make you want to dance, and it's hand-rolled organza and marabou feathers and just really bright and fun, kind of like candy. I mean, working with Charlotte again this season is such a pleasure. You know, she just understands how to really bring, make a shoe complete a look. So we did these penny loafer hybrids and a sandal, and it was great. Shoes with this kind of platform, where really every chunk in is nice against the feather look. Energetic, colorful, happy, a uh, lot of mix of primary color, yellow fuchsia, turquoise, I love it, I love it.
He does really playful things with color and pattern. I mean, he's not stayed by any means. I mean, he's, there's a lot of fun to what he does, but I think it can have a really wide appeal because a lot of his silhouettes are, are very grown up. They're not these sort of slouchy, slacker kinds of silhouettes. I think it's great. He does gorgeous clothes that girls like to wear. You know, in the end, that I think is what makes a successful designer. You know, there are designers who do cuckoo crazy avant-garde stuff that editors like me love to photograph models in and that encourage fantasy, and that's important. I love that too. But in the end, you know, women go into Kern is a bet, go into Saks Fifth Avenue, and they want to buy a gorgeous dress that they look great in, and that's what he does. I loved him from the very beginning and we were one, Bloomingdale's was one of the first stores to pick him up and Peter Soam has always been a proponent of this dressed up ladylike look but with a little twist, always a Peter Soam twist that I, I love. I think it's the best one yet. My wife liked it, that's the most important thing, you've got to ask her what piece is. Oh, I loved that last blue dress, the very end piece I loved, and also I love that pink dress. I loved how the long dresses flow in the back, so I think those were my favorite pieces. It's exciting working uh, every day on something I love. It, it doesn't feel like work that much. Um, so it's, 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 I'm just glad they still want me around. <laughs>